Hello everyone, this is Matt Master. I'm going to explain you the so-called Mowat Wilson syndrome and give you an overview of the most important aspects of this genetic disorder. I'm going to make it easy for you to remember. So let's start. So as I said, it's a rare sporadic disease. It's autosomal dominant and you have a mutation in the ZEP2 gene. In the ZEP2 gene. What is interesting about this syndrome is you have a lot of facial dysmorphias, which I'm going to explain to you one by one. First, you have a wide intraocular distance, as you see here. Thick medial eyebrows. You have a prominent nose bridge and a wide gaping mouth. A prominent chin. Elevated earlobes with central depression. And these patients are usually small. They have a so-called growth retardation. Also, these patients have a small head, that, which is called microcephaly. Besides from these facial dysmorphias, you have also malformations in the organs. The most prominent are heart malformations, where pulmonary valve and pulmonary artery are affected, genital malformation, Corpus callosum agonizia, so the corpus callosum that connects the hemispheres with each other is missing in these patients. You have eye malformations, prominent teeth, which you don't really see here because the lip is drawn on top of it, because, but they have prominent teeth. These patients suffer from obstipation, and most of them, by far, is the Hirschsprung disease, which they often have. So Hirschsprung's disease. Also, they suffer from psychomotoric development failure, like learning disabilities, and they have impaired speech development. So this was all about Mowat Wilson syndrome. I hope it was easy for you to understand and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments and I'm happy to help. We can have a great discussions about this interesting syndrome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.